that's in the house on today. All of the women, amen. If you listen, you didn't just come out and say, I'm just coming. Oh, but you came in this fine looking uh, attire and all oh, the fascinators and all of these things. We just thank God for you. We certainly honor our bishop on today. today and certainly oh we are blessed on today yes. we are highly favored on today yes. because we have among us one of the sweetest women I know yes. and that's in the person of First Lady Melody Porter yes. Mother Day 
Mother's Day season. Yeah. And so we just thank God for that. Of course, she's serving there in greater community yeah. with her husband, yeah. none other than uh, Superintendent Taylor, yeah. amen, our yeah. chief adjutant here in Tennessee Central. And we thank God for that. We want to lend our ear attentively to her as she come to us. God has given us a word for such a time as this. And we thank God for her willingness on today uh, to say yes to this moment in time. So ladies, ladies, we thank God for you. And yes, this is a rainbow breakfast. We thank God for the rainbow because he put it in the sky. Amen. So often I say a lot of people are trying to hijack yeah. the rainbow. Yeah. Uh, but that's all right. God put the rainbow in the sky. And not only that, when he put it there, you know what? He promised something to us. And not only just the rainbow promise, but there's so many promises in the book. Every book. I mean, every verse and every line, they all belong to us. Amen. So we thank God for none other than First Lady Vernita Taylor. If you would, please receive her after this uh, song. Amen. Our song is going to come forward. Then you will receive her and she will depart the word that God has given her for us at this moment. God bless you. Be blessed is my prayer. Thank you again, uh, Supervisor Propina. Uh, before I sing this song, it was, of course, requested um, by Mother Propina. Uh, she asked me, she said, can you sing it like Crystal Rucker? So I said, I'm, I'm, I'm like, well, you know, I'm not Crystal Rucker, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. So y'all uh, pray for me. Um, it's an appropriate song uh, for the occasion. So I'm, I'm excited to be here and, 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 and do it. So um, it's just a song. We're over the
by all the honor of your name. I want to read that part again. For your promises are backed up by all the honor of your name. What's in a name on today? Because a name is everything. And anytime like me, when we get ready to, to do some work around the house, a lot of times we, we call people and we ask them because we need to get a review and a reference on somebody to do the work. Because we need to make sure that their name is what it is. We need to make sure that their name is good and that they can produce what is promised. Oh, so yeah. that is why we do reviews. You know us later on all these online boutiques. They send they, there's a lot of them. And a lot of times they they can they name cannot be backed up. So we have to get some reviews and we have to talk to some people and say, oh, is this product really what they say it is? Yeah. Will they give you what they promised yeah. that they were gonna give you, or will they give you some junk? I just stopped by for a little bit on today uh -huh. just to let you know that God can deliver everything that he promised. Yeah. The enemy comes in to make us think that he cannot do it and that he will not do it. But I come to tell you that we serve a God that can and that will. We will. We go through our struggles. We go through our trials. And while we there, it looks like everything that God said and everything that God promised right. is not going to come to pass right. because we're in the midst of our struggles. Yes. Yes. We're in the midst of our trials. Yes. We're in the midst of our tribulations. Yes. And the enemy comes to discourage us. Yes. He said, girl, God said it. It ain't happened yet. Right. God said it. It ain't going to happen. It's happening for this one. It's happening for yes. that one. Right. But where is your promise on yes. today? Yes. Has God yes. done it for you? I come yes. to tell you just hold on. about her promise uh, because God promised her something and he did it and it looked like he was an Indian giver. It looked like he was going to take it away. The very thing that God gave her looked like it was dead. It looked like it was dead. And the woman of God said it looks like it's dead. But you know what? I know where the source is. And that woman of God decided not to bury the promise on today. Not to give up on the promise that God had promised her. She said, I'm not giving up on it. I'm going to the source on today. And there are many of us on today who are in tribulations and trials who the enemy is trying to make us give up on the promise because it looks like it's dead and it looks like there's no life in it and it looks like that there is no way for life to come back into that promise. But that woman of God, she said, give up on the promise. So she told the servant, get your donkey. Let's go, because I got to go to the sword. And I just imagined in my mind, and her husband said, baby, why are you going to the man of God? She said, it, she said, it's all well. She said, it shall be well. See, she was prophesied in the process. And many of us on today need to prophesy in the process of where we are. It may not look like it. It may not smell like it.
it. I have siblings. Every time I go to them, they can do it the most of the time. But there is some things that God has promised me that my siblings cannot do. God has promised me that he's going to save my children, that he's going to sanctify them, and then he's called them to preach.
just a little bit. Amen. But the promises, we're so excited that the promises of God, oh, they will come to pass. Uh-huh. When the enemy come in like a flood, try to tell you that they're not. So they will come to pass. And you know, if you don't think about it, just stomp your foot and just say, I'm going to put my foot on it. I'm going to put my foot on it. God for her. Yes. On today, we want to just, I want, can I do a few words of thank you? We're so thankful for Missionary Parham on today. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Where are you? Where are you? We don't yes. see you. Yes. We just want you to wave at us because we appreciate you. Yes. Amen, amen. She she said she worked with us women. She worked with us. Amen. You, when I, now, you know, we as women, we know when we say somebody worked with us, we know what that means, don't we? Amen. We're so thankful. She uh, served a full room of women on today and men. And let me say this. Men that are here, I saw Superintendent uh, uh, Norman. I don't see him now. But uh, he was here and, and uh, Superintendent Kenton. Any other uh, superintendents in the house, we would love to see you stand at this time. Amen, amen. Superintendent Washington. Superintendent Washington. Amen. God bless you. I think they ate and they got on out of here on us. <laughs> But we are so glad to feed you on today. Amen. Thank you, superintendents, for being with the ladies on today. We're excited. Well, those of you that do not know, and those of you that are viewing us in our social media, we thank God for you as well. We know there are plenty of women who could not make it on today because of our seating problem. Well, it's a good problem. Don't get me wrong. Amen. But we are here, and we are marked out in our greens, our yellows, our orange, and, and our light green, yellow. Hello, did I say that, pink, purple, lavender? Oh, we are here. And so we thank God for that. We want to also thank Sister Blackwell. Where is she that's doing our pictures for today? Hey, okay, amen. Stand up. I know she sounds shy. Stand up, stand up. Amen. Sister Victoria, we thank God for you as well. We want to honor people. You know, listen. When people do things for the free, we have to say at least thank you. <laughs> it's because they're doing a service to the kingdom. Amen. And while I'm thinking, thanking people, let me thank the decoration committee. Amen. 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 Certainly, certainly to Sister Patricia Augusta. Stand up, Patricia. Exactly. I told District Missionary Griffin, I believe it was. No, it was District Missionary Pie. She called her Sweet Spirit. And so I decided to have a t-shirt made up for her say Sweet Spirit. <laughs> because she certainly is a Sweet Spirit. And when you're dealing with God's people, that's what you have to have. The scripture says, with love and kindness have I drawn me. Uh, don't nobody want to be around any bitter, fruit. Your fruit is not sweet. Uh uh, we do not want to eat it. Amen. So we need to make sure our fruit is sweet. Amen. So I'm going to my seat. I'm about to talk to the next hour. Our supervisor had a birthday. Yeah. Our supervisor had a birthday. And we were just trying to surprise you. We have several, several cards in this green folder. In this green folder, several cards. People have signed the cards, just gave you happy birthdays and, and some happiness. <laughs> oh, right away. The green, the green envelope didn't make it over here, but I'm gonna get it by Mother Woods. And if, if the green envelope didn't make it to you, please. We're gonna get the green envelope to you. Amen. But mother, we wanted you to be blessed on today with Lord, and she's crying, and we don't want mother to cry, but I know it's tears of joy. She is a giver, y'all. Yes, she is. She is a giver, and we just want to pour a little bit back into you on today on your birthday. Come on, everybody. We can stand up for our supervisor. Amen. We may need to strengthen our legs today. Amen, amen. And this is from the prayer. We do have 
have a friend all to workers team. It's a little happy in this bag. And we have a little happy in all of these cards here. And we just want you to know that we love you and we appreciate you for leading the ladies in Central Tennessee. Amen. Amen. the envelope to get to your table, please raise your hand and I will come directly to you. Thank you. We ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, to create in us a clean heart. Renew right spirits on the inside of us. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you for doing that. Restore to us, O oh God, in this room the joy Get it of your salvation. In the name of Jesus, uphold us, God. Oh God, with your free spirit, strengthen us right now, God, that we can endure hardness like a good soldier. And we just thank you for doing it now. Clothe us, God. Clothe us, God, with your armor that we may withstand the fiery darts of the enemy. Bind us together, God, with love. Oh, God, that we would be a great force to the kingdom of God. God, cast the devil out of our mind that we won't think wickedness against each other. But God, fill our hearts with love one to another. And we thank you for doing that. We thank you for a clean heart, God. We thank you, Jesus, for a right spirit on the inside of us. Thank you, Jesus. Touch our minds, God, that we will keep on the good things that you have for us. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you. Move on us right now that we may do your will, God. Give us a hunger and thirst after righteousness. For your word says that he that hungers and thirsts for righteousness shall be filled. Fill us, God, with joy and laughter. Fill us, God, with peace in our mind. God, rebuke the devil that would come to hinder on her death. Oh, God, that woman that's depressed, the woman that's downtrodden, the woman that feels hopeless, God. Oh, God, give her hope on today. God, hope in you, God. Hope in your name. Hope in your word, God. Thank you, Jesus, for it shall be well, because it is well with us on today. We thank you, God, for our leader. God, continue to give her vision. Oh, God, continue to give her strength right now. In the name of Jesus, move us together. Let us get behind her, oh God, and get with the vision, oh God. In the name Jesus, God bless us to be like the frog that we may grow in leaps and bounds, God. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you for doing it. Bless every ministry here. Bless every ministry here. In the name of Jesus, oh God, anoint every mother to continue to do what you need them to do for her children. God, let us our lives be the mirror that reflects the image of Christ. God, that men may look on us and see you. Oh, God, let us be the light on the hill. And we thank you for doing it. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Now, God, as we open our mouth and we just give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. As we give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Let the word 
words of our mouth be pleasing to you. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name.